I'm Tyler Dickinson. I want to go over um, the details of what we should do, what kind of position we should be in, which way do we turn once we get to our feet off of a stand-up. Okay, I'm on bottom, I explode up, I get to my feet. A lot of mistakes can, can happen once we get there, and I want to clear some of those things up for people. So, when we get here, let's start with, he locked his hands, and he's directly behind me. How do we get to good position? Okay, we don't want his hands in the middle, okay? We have bones right in the front here, either side, we have bones. That's where we want his, his lock at. So how do we get it there? We're gonna grab his hands, and we're gonna move it over there. At the same time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, kind of swish on my hips, okay? So I move it with my hands, and I move my hips, boom, okay? Whichever side I picked, that leg is gonna be more out, okay? My other leg, let's rotate a little bit, is gonna be underneath me, okay? From here, we are going to put our thumbs right where his lock is and push down, okay? The hands are not gonna break the lock. The hands push the lock down, okay? Our hips are what are what gonna break the lock. Push it down, and I'm gonna look up to the ceiling. He's carrying our weight. What we wanna do is make it hard to hang on to. And we don't have to be faster, you know what I mean? Ideally, he'll be able to hang on to it for six seconds. Right, enough time for him to get stalled, and then we have to, then we get away. That's ideal, right? And that happens a lot when we make it hard for him to hang on to. And it'll make it hard for him to manage it. So, this legs out. Thumbs right at the lock, pushing down. He can still hang on. I lean back, and she's looking up to the ceiling. That legs out. Now notice, he's a good part of pushing into me. This leg is carrying very little weight. But I have it directly underneath me, in case he were, were to try something where he would like suck me back, I still have my balance if I need it. It's there if I need it, but really I'm balancing mostly to my front leg. And I'm leaning back right here, okay? So from here, I'm gonna, once I finally, he gets exhausted, I can feel him start to lose his grip, he'll pop off, I'm looking up to the ceiling, I take the outside hand to my back pocket, this other hand I like to go high, to build some momentum to cut through his arm that may still be on my waist, okay? And then my, my leg that's underneath me, with this arm, is going to cut through. Right here. Okay? So let's go over that again. He's locked. Not good. Okay? But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fix it. We're going to put it over here, switch our hips. We're going to push down and, and get here. Looking up to the ceiling. Push it down. My hips will finally break that. I'm going to put it in my back pocket, and I'm going to go high. Okay? Remember, here's what I see got kids do a lot. They'll get it here, and they'll go, ugh, 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 and then they'll give up, okay? What you did there, it was hard to hang on to for a second. It was easy. It was hard. It was easy, okay? Every time it gets easy, it's his opportunity to return me. What we want to do is relentlessly make it hard to hang on to, okay? Now, he, he has very little options to return me. Eventually, it breaks. He got called for stalling, and I get away. That's ideal. That's, that's how I recommend that you strategize to do it. 